Um, so one of the things that we really want to focus on with this show is um, the Cherokee Nation is a place. It is um, the 14 counties of northeastern Oklahoma, and there are some strong connections to the place that is the Cherokee Nation, and that is a prime example of, of one of those. Um, so I'll go ahead and open it up to questions. Anybody? Anybody have a good red fern? Gross. Got a question. Uh, the school that uh, Rawls spoke at, do we know what school that was? Yes. Uh, we do. <laughs> it is, is written down. Um, it was not in Oklahoma. Uh, I want to say Iowa. I want to say it was an Iowa public school. But Brad, I'm like you. It looks like it would have been like a Kenwood or a, yeah. or a Wickliffe or something. Right. He spoke at a lot of schools, but that video in particular was, yeah. That's what he did the last years of his life, was just travel around, spoke at, at thousands of schools. And I dumped our bad mics. So and we... Um, in addition to this segment in the same episode, we're going to do a Cherokee Almanac about uh, Wilson Rawls. So that'll go more into his background um, and, and his life. And he was very uneducated. He, there was not a school um, where he grew up. So he learned basically, he was basically homeschooled by his mother. Um, and so he went into school saying, I don't know how to spell. I have very poor grammar. Um, my wife had to help me type this out. Um, and if I can do it, you guys can do whatever you want to. So, Any other question? I like to say this is like a puzzle and Colleen was able to find the appropriate pieces and then put them all together and figure out the best way to do that. We had a question right here. Yeah, uh, I would just wanted to ask, the set, the cabin, do you know how long that was standing when it was uh, torn down? Funny you should ask. It is funny that you should ask. Um, we had, this is going to be a long answer to your question, um, we were talking earlier about how much footage we have. We had full interviews with everyone in this uh, in this story, so that's at least an hour. And I'd also like to um, acknowledge Mr. Jerry Thompson, who is uh, with us today. And was a great help and has continued to be a great help through all out many, many of our stories as a historical um, uh, source. But um, so we spent uh, pretty much the good part of a morning with Ed Fight, the landowner there, um, on whose land both of the two films were shot. And we tramps down into this giant like cane break. Um, just off of the Illinois River, and he showed us where um, where the set ended up. And from the second film, the cabin from the second film, which was shot in the late 90s, early 2000s, with uh, Dave Matthews, of all people, um, that, that cabin was still standing until 2015, when uh, the Illinois River flooded, and um, took the cabin with us, but with it. But there is um, remnants of that cabin. We're actually going to do like a web extra and air that um, just on online. But um, the original cabin was used um, a historical society, and I can't remember right now which one it was. Um, had moved that cabin from that land and um, there was ideas to reconstruct it and kind of do kind of a living history sort of thing uh, for a long time. But um, Ed still gets visitors that want to come and down to his land and see uh, see where it was shot. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, I, I only asked because I was in the Boy Scouts and we actually camped down there at the second cabin. Oh, okay. Yeah, he uh, he mentioned he's like we've had Boy Scout groups yeah. down here. And... So, Colleen, were they cabins that were constructed just for the film, or were they actual? Yeah, they were constructed just for the film. In the first one and the second one. First and second one, but they were made. They were actual homes, so they weren't just you know a facade. And they Ed was telling us that they were made um, 
as a home in the 1930s would have been constructed. They did a lot of research into that. Um, so I thought that was, that's actually obviously pretty unusual for any film set, but um, to, you know, go to that, well, maybe not any film set, but pretty cool. The uh, story of the Redburn Groves revolves so much around the uh, coon hunting culture at the time and, and the coming of age stories with the coon hunting. Obviously, I've seen it. <laughs> and uh, uh, I wondered if you did any filming of actual coon hunting. We did not. We went down to the Red Fern Festival, which is coming up. Um, it's April every year, as you probably know, Counselor. And um, we went down there and um, spoke with the coon hunting club, Bob Riles. Um, and they said, you know, we let the dogs go for the most part and sit here and chit chat until we hear a barking and then go and find them and I, and I kept trying to push. I was like, well, can't we just follow them? And they were like, it's dark out. You're not going to really get a lot. So we talked a lot about doing some recreations and like, you know, a lantern swinging in the woods at night. Um, we spent over a year on this particular piece and we just we didn't end up doing it we thought that um what we have with the coon hunting field trials and actually seeing the dogs and being able to be right there and have those close-up shots we felt like that um got the spirit across i had a quick question okay the area where they had the dripping springs is that on ed fights land is that a where is it and is it, is it accessible yeah. Natural Falls or the Dripping Springs. Springs. Natural, Falls. Falls. Natural Falls is off of 412. 412. Um, it's, uh, it's right off the highway. It, it used to be called Dripping Springs. Springs. Yeah, okay, we tell everybody to go there. Everyone is because we have the we have video of Natural Falls in the show opening sometimes and on beauty shots and everybody's like, where? I live in I live in Tulsa. I've never been there, so we always tell everybody it's not that far away. Yeah, it's it's a uh, Flint Hill, but uh, almost an hour, an hour and fifty yeah. minutes probably. It's a state Park. Yeah, it's a state park. You can't swim in it, but you can go there and have picnics and stuff. Thank you. Um, and oh, one thing I was going to... Oh, go ahead. Where was the, or where is the red 